Hey everyone, this is day 10 of our 28 Days of Word and Prayer. I love this book. And my name's Josh, if we haven't met, and I happen to be with one of Perth's most favourite Christian media personalities. And her name is... Luke. <laughs> We're going to read from Colossians chapter 2, verses 6 to 8. And here we go. And now, just as you accepted Christ Jesus as your Lord, you must continue to follow him. Let your roots grow down into him and let your lives be built on him. Then your faith will grow strong in the truth that you were taught and you will overflow with thankfulness. Don't let anyone capture you with empty philosophies and high sounding nonsense that come from human thinking and from the spiritual powers of this world rather than from Christ. I don't know if you can hear, but we are at a local park. And there are children playing. There are birds singing. Uh, there's some beautiful, healthy trees around about us. And um, we read in verse 7, Let your roots grow down into him. Hope, I've got a question for you. Maybe you can let people know. What's one key way for trees to become healthy? Let your roots grow down. Ah, your let your roots grow down. Let your roots grow down. So I love this encouragement from Paul. He says, just as you've accepted Christ, we're going to continue in him and then let your roots grow deep down into him and let your lives be built on him. Then your faith will be strong and you'll overflow with thankfulness. I love the fact that healthy trees produce healthy leaves healthy fruit and here we see Paul say as your faith grows strong the fruit of that will be thankfulness what an amazing encouragement thankfulness are you thankful mm, yeah. yeah am I thankful sure. yeah <laughs> well the Bible tells us that thankfulness is a fruit of our faith uh, today, as we consider, I, I wonder if we could just sit before the Lord and think on that, how our faith can deepen in Him and our thankfulness can flow from Him. We've got three questions that we've got in our journal. So I hope it's going to read a couple of them and I'm going to read one. Maybe we can leave it together and bring it before the Lord and take that if you will. Here's what's been helping us. You read the first question, I hope. Nice and loud, though. What does it look like for me to continue to follow Jesus? What does it look like for me to continue to follow Jesus? And the next question, nice and loud though, for people that can't really hear you. How can I let my roots grow down into Jesus? How can I let my roots grow down into Jesus? That's good. Here's the final one. Is my faith strong resulting in an overflow of thankfulness? Great question. Let's pray into that. Father, we thank you for loving us. We thank you that we have you by grace, accessing in faith. Help us to continue to follow you. Help us to let our roots grow deep down into you. Help our faith to be strong. And Lord, may the fruit be thankfulness. We thank you in Jesus' name. And all of God's children said, Amen. Amen. Have a good one.